So yeah, I'm excited to use these products and see how they work. Also, my mom, um, my mom is black, so she really has, I was blessed with my texture and type of hair. My mom actually really has African American hair. Don't take this the wrong way. Sis, my mama got naps, okay? And she be struggling trying to find the right products for her hair because she is natural. Um, She's always like, you're just so lucky. Don't be complaining about your hair. I don't be complaining about my hair because I don't do much to it. Um, But I will say I am super blessed when it comes to my hair texture because I be seeing my mama do her hair and oh my gosh, if I was her, I would have done the same thing and cut it all off. But she'd be wanting to cut it all off again after already being natural. She's like, it's just too much. And I'm just like, I don't know, mommy. Like, I don't know how <laughs> to help me with that hair. Like, Chow, honestly, I can't believe we're still here. Like, we're still talking about this. Okay. So shout out to one of my subbies for actually sending me this story. I am not subscribed to this young lady's channel, but this is Brianna Monique. She is a luxury lifestyle uh, beauty influencer here on YouTube and Instagram. And what you just saw was a clip from her recent video where she discussed some hair products, black owned hair products, might I add. And she discussed her hair texture and her mother's hair texture. She said that she was blessed not to have her African American mother hair texture. So most of her subscribers were really surprised by this and they left comments telling her that her statements were anti-black and texturist. Instead of addressing the comments, she turned off the comments and clipped that part out of the video. Many of her subscribers said that they were going to unsubscribe and again felt offended because she said that she was blessed to not have naps slash African American hair. Now, y'all know I do not hold back, nor do I bite my tongue when it comes to this types of rhetoric. It is anti-black, it is texturous, and it is ignorant. And I think with a lot of these uh, anti-black biracial influencers, because not all of them are anti-black, shout out to Aaliyah's face, I love me some her, um, but to the, the anti-black um, biracial influencers who have majority uh, black women who are subscribed, and I told y'all, I told y'all about being subscribed to women who don't look nothing like you, um, and them basically using you as a stepping stool, right? Y'all fetishize them y'all love their hair texture y'all love their features that look nothing like yours and they pretend to like you too right because they mamas is black right they daddies is black so they they pretend to like you too right but then when you really listen to what they're saying they're saying that I'm blessed to not look like you I'm blessed to not have African features like you like y'all have to really smarten up it's time it's time it's been time, but it's time. And I actually did go back and watch the video. So she did clip that part out as of today. But the ugliest part for me um, was that it, she's, she's reviewing a black owned hair care company. Let me say that again. She's reviewing a black owned hair care company, but then saying she's glad she doesn't have black hair make it make sense she also said that she was going to try these black owned products because she recently had braids in her hair and that her hair texture could not stand the braids and as she left the braids in a little bit too long so she lost a lot of hair because she had in these braids and because her hair texture is not type 4 it ripped her hair apart so now she's resorting to black owned hair care but then still shitting on black women okay and do y'all know what really annoys me it really annoys me when a mixed race or other race of women or even black women who have non for non-type four hair it really annoys me when they act like they have no issues with their hair right the fact that they don't have type four hair they are blessed and they have no issues with their hair it really irritates me because i have so many friends that are hairstylists and they know for a fact 
most women across the board from type one to type four, most women have complaints about their hair, whether it be your hair is too greasy, right? Their hair is too thin, you know, heat damage, color damage. They wish they had more length. They wish they had, you know, more, more strands. Like I hate when women pretend that because they don't have type four hair, they are blessed. They have no issues when I'm literally looking at heat damage on your head. You're literally saying that braids ripped out your hair because your hair is too thin. Complaining about your hair being too fragile. You're giving us all of these complaints, but then saying that you're blessed. So your hair could be to shit. Your hair could be as shitty as, as, shitty as ever. Fragile as a toothpick, but because it's not type four, you're blessed. Get the fuck out of here. No. It's like, so you feel like you're blessed because you don't have African-American hair. So the women who do have African-American hair are cursed. Are you saying we're cursed? Because you're the one with damaged hair after box braids. So how are we cursed? Yeah, let's do tit for tat. Because now I'm going to start being petty. I try to educate. I tried to educate. Y'all y'all know I've been educating on here for, but now it's time to get petty. You're cursed. You're cursed. Look at your hair. It's broken and it's damaged from a week of box braids. You're cursed. Now you got to go and run and buy Manuka honey, avocado oil, castor oil, coconut. Now you got to throw all these oils in your head because you got about six strands of hair on your head. You're cursed. You're cursed. I'm blessed because I can wear box braids. Sorry. It really be the ones that got the personality and the education of a lawn chair. But because they throw luxury on top of everything, because they have incredible amounts of debt, you know, like, and they throw luxury on top of everything. They think they could just say whatever the fuck they want. No, no, you can't. Not, not, not while I'm watching. Sorry. What? Yo, this lady really said her mama got naps. You know, she's so she's she's glad she doesn't have her mama hair. Now, let's talk about the mama. Let's get into it. Now, she said that her mother always tells her that she's lucky to not have, you know, the quote unquote nappy African-American hair. So she's actually regurgitating what her mother has always told her. Her mother tells her you're lucky. So you should never complain about your hair because your hair ain't as thick and as nappy as mine. And black women, I want to know why you think that women who have stringy hair, thin hair, silky hair, I want to know why you think that they're lucky and you're not. I want to know why or how we can get you to the point of self-love. I want to know why when you, when you use protective styling and you're using wigs why you never use wigs that replicate or clip-ins or whatever that replicate your natural hair texture? What do you have against your own hair? Because it's time. I posted a photo of my haircut, you know, my hair in its natural state, short, 4C, thick, Nigerian, hair yeah i love her and and i'm usually so humble about my hair but it's it's time and this is specifically for my type 4c gals it's time to get cocky about your crown can we make that a thing it's time to get cocky about your crown because we gotta let these other bitches know because they're bitches we gotta let these other bitches know i'm blessed you see this thickness you see, I can get any style that I want. You see the shrinkage, but my shit is really down my back. I'm blessed. No more humbly natural. It's time to get real cocky about the crown because the problem is other women are cocky about their crowns, right? Not only are they cocky about their crowns, you're cocky about their crown. You feel more confident when you got their hair on. Versus your natural hair, the most beautiful, versatile, authentic, original. Huh? Make it make sense, huh? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. My hair defies gravity. Are you insane? Who does that? I'm magical. Who does that? You basic earthlings can never. Yeah.
it's time now if she can openly say that you know i'm blessed to not have african-american hair what other blessings does she think she possess and that's where we get into colorism because colorism is never too far from texturism yeah she's also thinking that she's blessed because she don't look like african-americans can, can oh is that a reach is that a reach <laughs> that's y'all fave so let me let me skip that part i actually want to do a hair care routine video on my short 4c hair um titled 4c hair is under attack because it really is like i can't turn left i can't turn right without either a uh you know someone saying something self-hating like oh i hate my 4c hair b a uh, biracial woman saying i'm blessed to not have 4c hair c black women who are supposed to be supposed to be hairstylists saying that they are not doing 4c hair our crown is under attack ladies our crowns are under attack ladies this is this is war this is war we're under attack this um, is war so yeah i'm excited to use these products and see how they work also my mom um my mom is black so she really has i was blessed with my texture and type of hair my mom actually really has african american hair don't take this the wrong way sis my mama got naps okay and she be struggling trying to find the right products for her hair because she is natural. I will say I am super blessed when it comes to my hair texture because I've been seeing my mama do her hair and oh my gosh, if I was her, I would have done the same thing and cut it all off. But she'd be wanting to cut it all off again after already being natural. She's like, it's just too much. And I'm just like, I don't know, mommy. Like, I don't know how to help me with that hair.